Hello guys, Zach here, also known as XMGZX, and today I'm going to be showing you how to test a player's biome in Minecraft. So this setup requires advancements and uses a special function, so you're going to want to make sure that you're in Minecraft 1.12 or higher. And shout out to Redix Redstone. His link is in the description because this whole setup is based on his idea. So make sure you go check him out because he's awesome and great redstoner. All right, so we're going to get started with this tutorial on how to set up the biome tester. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is navigate to your world. For me, I'm going to create a new world so that we can get started. And you're going to be able to see that this works with any world. As we wait for this to load. So once your Minecraft world is set up, the first thing that you're going to want to do is create two new scoreboard objectives. The first, called Biome Test. and the second called biome type. Now for your own reference, I suggest setting the sidebar to hold biome type. So that way you can easily tell who has what biome. So after you've created these scoreboard objectives in, the wor in your world, the next thing you want to do is navigate to your world folder. If it's a single player world, you'll find it in your .minecraft folder under percent app data percent. Once you reach your world folder, you're going to want to open it up, go to the data file inside, open up advancements and functions. Now, what you're going to want to do is download the biometester.zip file that's in the description below, and you're going to want to extract it. Now, this contains two, fu two files, a function folder and a root.function folder, or root.function, root.mc function. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to your advancements folder. You're going to want to go into the Minecraft folder inside. Normally this folder is not inside, so you're going to want to create it. And you're going to want to drop function to Minecraft. And do the same thing with the functions folder, only with root.mc function. Now. If it's a single player world, you're, you can just go ahead and reload the world after you've done this. If it's a multiplayer world, make sure you type slash reload in order for this to work. I'll give you an example once we get into the world. Now, finally, within your spawn chunks, wherever your spawn chunks may be, get yourself a command block and set it to repeat. Make sure it's always active, or at least giving, or at least has a redstone pulse, and make it type this command, or make it hold this command. You're going to notice that it works straight away, and I'm going to make sure command block output is off. And each player will have a unique biome type ID that will be different depending on which biome you're in. Now it is important to note that the biome will change within a quarter of a second. It won't be instant, but it will change within the quarter of a second. We are in, so notice, we are in Extreme Hills right now, which is a biome type of three. We're gonna go over here, which is Extreme Hill Plus. It, as soon as we change, it doesn't happen instantly, but it does happen soon. And since it's in the spawn chunks, it doesn't matter where the player is, it will always be loaded. 
So that's this tutorial, guys. See you next time.